Hello guys, welcome to Samber Style. So on this channel, we do everything from remodeling our house, rebuilding cars and everything in between. So as you guys might know by the title of this video, I am going to be remodeling this room into a nursery. Yes, Samuel Sebastian is due September. So it gives me about 10 weeks left uh, to make sure everything is set up. I would ideally like to get this done way before 10 weeks. So uh, I better get going. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour of this room and show you guys everything that I plan and that I need to change uh, in order to get this the perfect nursery. So let's get right into it. So the first thing that we need to get out of this room is this bed. So we actually had this made for our old house. We had like a super cool retro room, which was Amber's makeup room. And as you guys can see, our custom handmade uh, backboard, it's actually uh, just cost us little less than $100. It's made from pool noodles and some velvet. Uh, handmade, uh, it was a fun project, that one. And then also moving over here, as you guys can see, this is a handmade rug that Amber made. Uh, for that same room and go along with this old uh, TV we actually restyled. Um, so yeah, all of these things need to go out. That is uh, not the theme of the nursery. It would have been cool probably if it was a 70s theme, uh, but however, everything needs to go out. As you guys can see, we already accumulated some stuff. Uh, a lot of this stuff is from my family in South Africa. And then the closet. So I'm gonna redo this closet, take the doors, just kind of have it open, gonna build some shelves and then redo the uh, hanging part of it. As you guys can see for now, we just kind of put the clothes there. And then if this isn't cute, I don't know what is. A matching pair of shoes uh, for the Sebastian. So that's gonna be fun when he gets to wear those eventually. So first thing is, is gonna to take everything out. So we're gonna to have to clean up this room before we can get anything done. And once that's done, the fun really starts and that's gonna be the ceiling. We definitely wanna have it smooth because we actually want to paint it a different color. It's gonna be the first project. So I'm quickly gonna get this room cleaned out and then show you guys how to get a smooth ceiling. Okay guys, I am ready now to start scraping these ceilings. I've got my mask and I also got this uh, ceiling scraper machine, whatever you wanna call it, to hit the ceiling. It is textured, I'm used to doing popcorn ceiling this is a little bit different. Usually I would use a water uh, spray gun and scrape it off, but this is a little less textured than a uh, popcorn ceiling. So I think the sander would be sufficient. I'm gonna try it out and see how that works. Um, I am using a 120 grit sandpaper. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna start in this corner and get sanding and uh, let's see if we can get the ceiling all smooth. And here in the window, I also got a box fan that's gonna blow out. Uh, there is a bag that goes with the sander uh, to catch all the dust. However, there is always dust around and I'm gonna do my best to kind of get it out, uh, out the window and avoid going into the rest of the house. So let's hope that works. Okay guys, so that was an epic fail in my opinion. Uh, I'm not a fan of using this sander. This is now probably the third time that I've tried using it. And it's just a little bit tricky and awkward. You have to have it completely flat to get a smooth sand. And if you get a little bit off, it kind of cuts grooves in the ceiling and that's just gonna make for a lot more work down the line. So I'm gonna go with uh, using a spray bottle and some water and a scraper. So that way it's super easy to scrape the ceilings. However, it does make a lot of mess. So I'm gonna pick up these tarps, put some plastic down and I'll show you guys how to scrape a ceiling. Okay, let's see how round number two goes. So we got some plastic down. I got my spray bottle and scraper ready and uh, ready to get the ceilings cleaned up. So let's see how to get us done. So what I usually like to do is I just spray generously a little patch. Just let it soak for a second. And then I use, a, I think there's about an eight or 10 inch uh, scraper or mudding knife. 
and uh, we just gently scrape it because you don't want to scrape it with a big tool of an angle because if you damage the ceiling you're gonna have to go back and mud it let's see how this scraping goes So it's gonna take a little bit of scraping, but uh, I think this is gonna be the best way to get it smooth. So you guys might see after the first scrape that there is still some texture left. You can just repeat the process, wet it out again and then scrape it down again. Then you will get that smooth finish and a little bit of sanding after that and it should be good to go. That is as smooth as it's gonna be. So there is still a little bit of texture, but we're gonna get it with a little hand sander. Okay guys, so now that the first dirty part of this job is finished, it's time for the next dirty project. And that's gonna be sanding the ceiling. So after we scraped it, there's still gonna be a little bit of texture and unevenness, and we're gonna have to block sand it all the way through. I just like to do that. That just gives you an extra nice finish and that's what you want uh, before you start painting. You can paint with a flat white ceiling paint that will hide a lot of the things. You would not see that obvious. However, we are gonna paint the ceiling a different color. So that way I need to make sure everything is as smooth as possible and I'm gonna have to block sand it all the way through. So it's gonna get dusty and I'm gonna have a little bit of shoulder burn. So let's get sanding. Probably wear a mask. I just want to quickly show you guys the finishing product, uh, how you want it is not like this. So this is prior to sanding. I have not touched it yet. So that is left over after I scraped all the texture off. And this is kind of the spot after sanding. So as you guys can see, it is smooth and that is ready for paint. So you want to make sure your whole ceiling uh, doesn't look like that and looks like this. And then another thing that's a little bit unfortunate, as you guys can see right uh, on that crown molding and the ceiling. So basically what happened there is they caulked over the popcorn ceiling so I couldn't scrape it off. So I'm going to have to pull out all that caulk out of that seam and then clean it up and then re it afterwards. there might be a little bit something on my face so the majority of the sanding is done um, there is a few spots that I'm gonna have to touch up with some sheetrock mud just because there's like little holes and things like that I'll show you guys what I would um, recommend you guys do and then for the most part the ceiling is looking good there is a few imperfections what you can do depending on what kind of finish you want you can put a uh, you can put a skim coat of sheetrock mud on the whole ceiling and sand it down again. Uh, I'm not going to do that because I feel like the way the ceiling is now is acceptable and good enough for the nursery. So I'm going to quickly show you guys a couple of spots where I'm going to hit it with sheetrock just to smooth it out and uh, get a good feeling. So there is one that is where that sander, when I started working with the sander, uh, kind of bent out of shape and it just took a big gash out of the ceiling. And then that'll be the second spot where I'm going to put sheetrock mud. It's just a little bit on the rougher side, um, not ideal. And then the third place will be here. It looks like there's a couple of holes uh, and just a little bit of rough surface. The rest of the ceiling is pretty good. I'm super happy with it. And uh, we're about ready for some paint. Okay, so I got that corner all cleaned up in between the crown molding and the ceiling. And now it's ready for a fresh coat of caulk. And then I am going to do the mudding on those spots that I've showed you guys. A quick tip that I also want to mention, if you are going to do any form of mudding, uh, be sure to remove all the screws in your walls that uh, you do not plan to use. 
uh, that way you can mud them and then have all the dust and dirt out the way at one time and you don't have to repeat the process so i'm going to grab my mud and do some mud Okay, our water shelf is out and as you guys can see there is a couple of holes that uh, need to be fixed and addressed uh, so i'll do that once i start mudding the rest of the ceiling okay guys so we got all the nails and screw out of the walls and now it's time to patch everything there is a couple of uh, places where the damage is more than i would expect it like behind me as you guys can see uh, however i'm just going to use this all-purpose joint compound and then cover it up and sand it afterwards I'm going to show you guys a couple of tricks how to do your joint compound uh, when you want to fix up little holes and things like that uh, to make it for a quick and easy job so let's get right into it so when I took out the screw it kind of pulled the sheetrock out uh, you don't want to directly mud over this so what I like to do is I use my scraper scrape it off just like that then it's smooth and then what I also like to do is I use the back side and I kind of hit it a couple of times making a small indention that way the mud will go in and it'll be a smooth finish so just like that you guys can see there's a little indention not too much it doesn't it didn't break the sheetrock but it's enough for the mud to go in so I'm going to put some mud over it and then you guys can see how smooth that finish is going to be I'm just going to put some mud on, wax on, wax off. And there it's filled up. So it's as easy as that. So you just go over all your holes. And we're also going to do this on the ceiling. I'll just show you guys on the wall because it's easier to show you. Um, but everywhere where you have like imperfections in the ceiling or in your walls, you just fix it just like that. I just saw as I was mudding uh, all the holes in the wall that I have a slight hairline cracked and it seemed like they just kind of painted over it. Um, it doesn't look like any serious crack, it's just a sheetrock kind of settling over the years. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a razor blade and cut right into that crack, open it up and then just mud it in again. Okay guys, so we got the ceiling all smoothed out and it is ready for some paint. While we fixed the ceiling, we also went ahead and fixed up all the holes and sanded it down so the whole room is ready for paint. And super excited about all the dirty work is done and now we can keep moving forward. Okay guys, that's going to be the end of this video. Hopefully some of you got a little bit of encouragement. If you are planning to uh, scrape your popcorn ceilings or your textured ceilings, uh, it is not that big of a job, it's very dirty, a little bit of elbow grease but when it comes to cost it really can save you a lot of money because I know people charge a lot of it because it is a dirty job. If you find this content helpful please consider sharing it with your friends and family if you know of somebody that's in need of uh, some inspiration for scraping or attempting their uh, ceiling project. Also hit that subscribe button if you guys do not want to miss out on the rest of this baby nursery uh, remodel. Uh, in the next video we are going to be doing some trim. So these uh, tape lines might give you guys an idea of what we're planning to do. I am also going to change out all the door trim and the window trim for something a little bit modern and give it a little nicer touch. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, goodbye. Okay, so I just want, <clears throat> okay, I just want to show you guys. You see, as you see, okay. okay guys, so now that the first dirty job of this Okay guys, so now that the first part of this
first. So I'm gonna, so I'm gonna, <clears throat> some. So I'm gonna quickly start moving this stuff out and get. <clears throat> so I'm quickly gonna get all this stuff. So I'm quickly gonna get all this stuff. So I'm quickly gonna get all this stuff moved out and start working on that ceiling. So let's go.